Hey, mystery unfold here. Today I am going to clarify a Chinese activity thrill ride film called Kung Fu Girl. Shanong is a military workmanship understudy living in Hong Kong. Her dad Danny runs a neighborhood cafe during the day and creates games around evening time. Shanong's mom died a couple of years prior while heading to an air terminal. Since her dad would not drive her that day, Shanong faults him for her mom's demise. The connection between the dad and little girl hasn't been something very similar from that point forward. Shanong lives in her school's residence barely at any point visits home. She has a competition with a person from her group named Ricardo. He what's more his gathering of companions menaces her as often as possible. At some point the domineering jerks are in Shanong's dad's eatery griping about the food not being sufficiently fiery. Indeed even subsequent to eating up everything they won't pay. Shanong fights back against them and powers them to settle up. An embarrassed Ricardo tosses the cash to the floor what's more leaves shanong gets it and hands it to her dad who is in a mascot outfit she moreover apologizes to him for ricardo's impoliteness the following day at school ricardo renders his retribution by making shanong's companion sibling excursion and drop his food shanong's companions request that she fail to remember it however she would rather not let them free She sits with the gathering of menaces certainly also eats from their plates a threatened ricardo lets her be and leaves with his companions afterward shanong discovers that he annihilated her garments in the dryer the gathering inconveniences her consistently giggling when she screws up making her fall a few times and adding frogs in her lunch box a neighborhood retailer has battling matches before his home day by day the fact that ricardo has crushed makes shanong instructed everybody he has battled against till now She makes a move to challenge him in front of everybody. She even ventures to wager him to wear a skirt assuming he loses. Ricardo thusly requests that she trim her hair and wear men's garments if he wins. The battle begins and continues for very much while in any case it is obvious that Ricardo is way more talented than Shanong. Unexpectedly he gets her distracted and smacks her in the gut. The aggravation nearly goes Shanong to drop. After the punch she can scarcely get up and is crushed in a solitary kick. Ricardo chuckles at her and gives her a couple of scissors. Tolerating her loss, Shanong cuts her hair. The following day, she goes to class with short hair and is ridiculed by everybody. When she enters the class, Ricardo calls her a man, making her angrier than she as of now is. At the point when he doesn't quit calling out to her, she assaults him in the center of the class. They must be isolated by the educator before a battle breaks out. Shanong is then taken to the head's office. He calls Danny to fill him in about his little girl's trickeries. Danny apologizes for the bother, asserting that she is forceful since he hasn't been a decent dad to her. He likewise asks the head to let her free this time. At the point when Shanong goes to pick up lunch from the cafeteria that day, a few young ladies block her. They have likewise held hands with Ricardo to inconvenience her around the school. Shanong's companion shouts at everybody for supporting a domineering jerk yet they disregard her. Shanong leaves without her lunch. She thinks back with regards to her mom who was the explanation she checked out kung fu. While most moms dress their girls in princess dresses, Shanong's mom made her train from an exceptionally youthful age. She trusted that kung fu required young ladies like Shanong as much as Shanong required kung fu. That evening, Danny calls her, also requests that she return home for the end of the week since she hasn't been home in 90 days. Shanong is hesitant yet she consents to visit him in any case. After the call with his little girl, Danny moreover calls a financial backer and requests that he approach test his new game. He has made a virtual game where one needs to battle in actuality to win. Around evening time, Shanong returns home and meets her dad. Danny attempts to humor her in a discussion, however, she is contemptuous and inconsiderate. When called out for being discourteous, she powers a giggle, also disregards him. Danny additionally gets some information about her here yet Shanong excuses it and doesn't tell him about being tormented. At the point when he raises the change in her conduct after her mom's passing, she faults him for every last bit of it. Hurt by her words, Danny leaves. Minutes after the fact, Shanong goes to his workspace and noses about. She sees a weird accessory on a table, however, doesn't think a lot of it. She additionally tracks down a headset on his workstation, furthermore chooses to wear it. When she places it on, she enters the virtual universe of antiquated China. Out of nowhere, a gathering assault her. In any case, she safeguards herself effectively. She moreover sees that her hair has returned to being long. Then, at that point, her eyes land on a dressed Ricardo in customary Chinese apparel and is battling the rivals. 
It just so happens, individuals, he is battling are burglars attempting to ransack food from a rancher's home. Shanong is amazed that Ricardo is doing something beneficial for once. Then, at that point, the head of the gathering, Norman, approaches to battle Ricardo. In any case, he is demonstrated to be powerless against Ricardo's aptitude and is taken out in no time. After the hooligans flee, Ricardo gives the ranchers the sacks of grains that were taken away from them. Shanon follows him and asks him how he got into the game. She before long discovers that he is essential for the game with an alternate name and a completely unexpected character in comparison to Ricardo. He additionally illuminates her regarding the strong burglar siblings Norman and Tyson. They have accumulated and prepared a military to burglarize food and supplies from poor people. Henceforth, Ricardo is safeguarding individuals of his town with his life. He is certain that since Norman was recently crushed, his irascible sibling, Tyson, will come to deliver retribution. Elsewhere in the burglar's camp, Tyson is incensed. He sends some of his kin to watch out for Ricardo, looking for the best and ideal opportunity to strike the town. Shanong is displayed around the town, what's more acquainted with the Han Fighting Foundation. She meets her harasser Daryl who is one of the heroes in the virtual world. Her school's chief is the combative techniques instructor. He accepts that she is with the burglars and makes his students encompass her. On discovering that she is only an honest outsider, he is sorry and sends her to her individual space for her visit in their town. Shanong is likewise acquainted with the head of the town. Unexpectedly, Ricardo becomes ill and falls oblivious. The gathering surges them to the town's doctor, Miss Ares. She is prepared in combative techniques and is an incredible fighter. Afterward, when Ricardo improves, she and Shanong investigate the town. They run over an old shed and see a grim-looking individual contemplating. Ares clarifies that the man is her dad who has been in the shed for a year. It just so happens, her dad, Bao, used to be a voyager who aided individuals and got burglars wherever he went. Be that as it may, after Ares' mother's demise, he wished to remain disconnected from the world and hasn't emerged from the shed. Shana stays in the town for the following not many days, also gains different military craftsmanship methods from the town's head. She and Ricardo practice together and gain numerous things from one another. Before long, the town runs out of food in light of the fact that of the expansion in burglaries. The top of the town diminishes the everyday three suppers per day down to just two dinners. The laborers and the regular citizens are troubled on the grounds that soon they could pass on from starvation. Subsequently, around evening time, Shanong, Ricardo, Daryl, and Ares go to the looter's home to take grains. Daryl utilizes a cylinder and darts to make the watchman oblivious. Then, at that point, they break into the extra space and prepare to pack everything in. In any case, the caution rings, alarming everybody in the place of their appearance. Ares comes in front of the force to save the others. The remainder of the bunch needs to hesitantly flee without her. The following morning, Shanong asks the town head to save Ares however he won't do as such in light of the fact that Ares was discovered taking which is contrary to their standard. Following that, she goes to request help from Ares' dad Bao. She fills him everything in about her mom's demise and the way in which she accused her dad for it. Shanong says that her dad couldn't be more pleasant to her and concedes that she was to blame for accusing him. She is going to lose trust when Bao comes outside off, not entirely settled to save his girl. The gathering assaults the looter's base and battles the watchman prior to saving Ares. The dad furthermore the girl rejoin and choose to go on a trip like they used to. Shanong needs them to remain until the burglars are completely gone however Bao claims he has confidence that they can stop the burglars. After Tyson discovers that his soldiers were assaulted, he prepares to attack the town with his warriors. Realizing that he is about to accomplish something to that effect, Shanong, Ricardo, what's more Daryl conceptualize thoughts to stop him. Shanong realizes that there should be a method for overcoming the force since this is a game all things considered. Then, at that point, she recalls the accessory she saw on her dad's table that matched precisely to the neckband that an officer was wearing. She cheerfully thanks her dad for the clue. Hours after the fact, Tyson alongside his officers assaults the town. The town head and his understudies fight them energetically. In the midst of the fight, Shanong sees the accessory and the man wearing it. Be that as it may, while attempting to battle him, she is killed and taken back to the real world. Shanong rejects to lose and wears the headset once more. It ends up that she has another life left which implies she can proceed with the game from where she was before. This time, she beats the fighter and makes due to get his accessory. On opening the memento, she tracks down her mom's image inside. In one moment, Tyson's fighters in general vanish on the grounds that Shanong had the option to sort out the sign. Whenever just Tyson is left, they overwhelm him and win the fight.
Following that, we see Shanong and Ricardo by the side of the waterway. She lets him know that she misses her dad and inquires him to send her home. Ricardo vows to continuously recollect her and sends her back to the real world. Whenever Shanong is at long last back, it has just been a couple of hours since she began to play. It turns out that Danny and a potential financial backer had been watching her play this time. Shanong embraces her dad, saying sorry for being inconsiderate to him. The financial backer is so intrigued with the game that he offers to put 10 million yuan in it. One week from now is a public level kung fu contest. Both Shanong and Ricardo have partaken in the opposition and have been chosen in various divisions. They need to win four rounds to arrive at the finals. Upon the arrival of the contest, Shanong glances around and is tragic that her dad is absent. All things considered, she does her best and wins effectively against the genuine Aries. Essentially, Ricardo wins the following not many rounds and arrives at the finals. Shanong conflicts with a person in the semi last and after an extreme match, she routes him. Presently, the adversaries need to battle each other in the finals. The crowd enthusiastically observes as they prepare to battle. Ricardo strikes the first assault yet Shanong avoids it. Similarly, Ricardo additionally avoids Shanong's assaults in general. The first round closes with no one of them getting an appropriate hit. The arbitrator blows the whistle demonstrating the finish of the round however Ricardo plays foul and assaults Shanong even later. His score is deducted yet he doesn't withdraw. In the following round, they appear to match in abilities also strength. Abruptly, Shanong kicks Ricardo in the back and makes him fall. An infuriated Ricardo disrupts the guidelines again and hits her on the rear of her knee. Shanong is in torment yet she actually gets up, prepared for the following round. This time, he kicks her on the rear of her head, breaking one more rule. Shanong is nearly taken out however at that point, she sees her dad in a crab ensemble, supporting her from the crowd. With restored inspiration, she rises up to battle Ricardo. She recollects the strategy she had learned with the virtual Ricardo and utilizations it on him. It works without a hitch furthermore she takes him out to win the opposition. As the group emits in cheers, she hurries to her dad furthermore embraces him. In the last scene, she is back in school. She offers to set things right with Ricardo who remarks that she had the right to dominate the last game. For more explanation videos like this, please subscribe our channel, click on the bell button, and share with your friends. Much obliged to you for watching.